For my Napoleon lesson, I have some in-class activities planned, and I've organized those activities into separate collections. I'll show you how I put one of them together here in the Battle of Trafalgar. I have a number of resources here for this particular activity. I'm going to do this with playlists. A playlist is a way for me as the teacher to push resources out to the student. All a student needs is an internet connection. So they could be in the classroom in front of me or they could be at home. The playlist is just a way for me to push out content to the students and have them access these resources in the, in the correct sequence. So for this activity, I want, them, I want the students to look at the Battle of Trafalgar webpage to set up and understand what this is about. Then I want them to see the animated map. And then I want them to play the game. I also have some tips uh, that will help them if they have questions. And if they have time, I have an extension learning exercise as well. Now you'll notice I already have a playlist here in this collection, but I can create an additional playlist. I can create multiple playlists. If this is a larger collection, I could create a, a playlist for my ELL students, another one for my advanced students, another one for my struggling learners as well. So it's a way for me to individualize this lesson. So playlists are created by, again, the little plus sign. I select the playlist tab. I give my playlist a title. And now I can start adding resources to my playlist. I can do it by either these four bars, which allow me to drag and drop, or I can click the add slide. Now I'm adding all these resources. I'm going, they're not in the correct sequence, so I will change the sequence now. First, I want them to read the, uh, this web page so they understand what this is about. Then I want them to look at the animated map. I want them to see these tips uh, if they need help, but it's only if they need help. So I'm going to hide the slide. And then I have the uh, extension learning exercise I want to hide that as well. Now I can preview this. I click on these three dots and I can easily copy this. Uh, if I'm making multiple playlists for different groups of students, I can copy it and continue from there. But the play is a way for me to preview what the student will see. So this is what the student sees. Uh, this particular, the BBC wants us to launch or forces us to open the page in a, in a separate tab. And that's why we have this icon here. But if I click this, the page opens. It's a chance for me to read this and get an understanding of what this battle is and why it was so important. I go to my next slide. I can launch the animation. Go to my next slide. I can launch the game. Now you'll notice that my extension learning exercise and the help are not visible here. To see those resources, I need to click this icon here that will unhide those resources. So now if I need help, it's right here. And if I've, if I've completed this exercise before the rest of the class is finished, I can go here and for extension learning. So these resources are here, these hidden resources are here if I need it as a student. If I don't need it, I can simply keep them hidden. So the students control that. They can see it, they can unhide us, the, these resources or hide them. It's up to them, it's strictly for them. And it's, Hidden slides are very useful for additional help. They're useful for your ELL students who may need some translations, who need words translated. It's also useful for extension learning 
and it's useful for vocabulary lists, anything additional that you feel students might need as part of this activity or as part of this lesson. So that is a preview of my playlist of what the student will see. So you can see that my playlist has been created here. And to share this out with students, I click on this share icon, the three dots with the line attached to them. When I click that, I can either copy this link, I can share it out using Google Classroom or by email, or I can just paste the link into another application and share it out that way. When students receive the link, they can view this playlist. They can access all the resources, go through them in the correct sequence, and participate in this activity.